Hey, what's going on again, Yard Fanatics? Hey, this is part of the fall and winter care again. Um, you remember, I, we already put down the pre-emergent, okay? So the next thing you'll need to do is actually, <clears throat> right about this time, it's like October, is I need for you to go ahead and fix your weed, kill for lawn, and your predominant mix. All right, I already got some made up, so let me just show you what I got. All right, this is the uh, Prodamine Weed Kill for Lawn Mix, all right? Now, like I said, if you follow my videos, you pretty much know that I, I, I got a two-gallon Roundup. Let me tell you something. You're going to hear some noise because, like I said, I, I like to take you in the field. I like to bring you out here with me. This is one of the newer Roundup sprayers. It has that three-function head on it, um, cone. I think it's stream and... Um, Fan tip. Fan tip is the one that we use while we're doing this. Okay, look. This is my prodamine. I had to transfer it into the jug, but you know what it looks like. I add 0.5 ounces of my prodamine to one gallon of water. One ounce of uh, surfactant, which is non detergent, and get your favorite we kill for lawns look whatever is in your lawn if you got crabgrass um, nut sedge you need to find one that has a nut sedge killer and also um, this one doesn't have I hadn't seen anything on here that says it kills nut sedge but I'm using this one because I got it um, this particular yard I'm at I think they got a few nut sedges but make sure you get one that does control nut sedge and crabgrass okay Basically, you put it in your pump sprayer, one gallon of water, I'm gonna go again, two ounces per gallon, 0.5 per gallon, and one ounce of surfactant right there per gallon. Mix that up, and what you need to do is literally walk your property and find um, any little weeds that are there. Now, here's the thing. Crabgrass generally starts to die off during the fall. Okay, we know that. Dallas grass will go dormant, but it's a perennial. That joker will come back. That's another video. Okay, but I still need you to spray this um, mix um, on it. So those seeds that fall, I'm trying to walk and do this at the same time. Those seeds that fall, you got some diamine protection right there where they fall. Like, even though you already treated your yard, go ahead and put it down. And you got dandelions, probably we went to see those little white blowy things. Um, planting, um, all kinds of weeds, that summer weeds that are pretty much gonna die off. I want you to treat those though. Still treat them. Especially the ones that got the seeds in it. The ones that got the seeds in it. Make sure you spray them. You can pull them off, but I would spray them and watch them die. Like I said, I got my mix here. All right, I'm finna walk this property and and we're gonna find, you know, where we see some weeds and we're gonna go ahead and treat them. All right, check it out. All right, okay, okay, guys, I got my uh, pump sprayer right here. Should have a backpack sprayer. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, but my backpack sprayer is at the home. Um, I brought this one um, back up. So what I do is basically I walk, okay? Like right here, I see a couple of broad leaves. See those? If I can zoom in. See those? I'm gonna go ahead and spray those. Yeah, bro, look at that. Look at that. You see it? Alright. Now you see a lot of these weeds are starting to turn brown. It's just starting to bow. But I basically just go and treat areas and with me spraying the prodiamine along with it I am adding a layer of protection for next year right there Look, we're gonna treat this whole area right here whole area with that
Like I said, I'm trying to do two things at one time, so this look at store would have went better if I had had my backpack spray up. But I didn't bring that today. Look at that, go a big one now. Look at that. See that prodiamine laying on it? I got surfactant. Now the way it happens, don't water this in. Let Mother Nature do its course because you already put prodiamine in your lawn if you're following my videos. And basically, what you need to do is literally, I don't know if you can see my finger, but walk straight up, come straight back, and just do your whole yard like that. Try to cover every square inch looking for weeds. And you just give it a little, a little taste of spray. Well, you see it? There's some clover there. Let's see, that's what we got. See, I still, I got that nut sedge right here, but I don't have no nut sedge killer in my, um, which call I'm spraying it anyway. Let's see. A lot of nut sedge here, y'all. See those? See it? I'm going to get close. Look at that crab grass right there. see me spraying right there when those seeds fall off they're laying in the predominant dead but let's get close to that so you can see it you see how it's coated look at that look at that all right <clears throat> that surfactant is holding the weed kill on it um the prodiamine that I use states that I can wait um, up to 14 days. We are expecting some more rain in the next three or four days from now. And also, you see this is, look at this split. I'm gonna walk down here and I'm gonna spray a thin layer, kinda on the other people's yard too, but I need to make sure that my customer yard is protected from those seeds because apparently they're not gonna um, treat their lawn. So. I'll walk that whole line. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to get you the best view possible, y'all. I'm doing it by myself. Can't ask my man to stop working because he's on the clock. See? Look at that. See it down, down the line? If I can find it in the video. Hold on. See it? See those seeds? That wind will blow these and they'll blow back over into my neighbor's lawn. So I gotta make sure that this property line is protected. Now I'm spraying weed kill on it also, so that'll help kill that off. See that? See that? That's that crush line, y'all, that you always hear me talking about. Providing protection on the crush line. So this thing will look awesome come next season. My customer yard, anyway. Don't worry about these, theirs. Yeah, guys, you can see where the, see that crab grass? It's already turning purplish, has that purplish thing, color to it. I mean, it's dying off. Um, they got another broadleaf weed. You see it? That yellow. That's what I mean. And like I say, you basically, that's what you do, y'all. Walk your property. Find the little weeds that are standing. Even, even though they are dying, go ahead and spray them anyway. Go ahead and spray them. Because this the heat is holding, y'all. It's 80, 87 degrees. And we almost in mid-October, so I don't know what to tell you. That's extended your summer, um, your summer weeds still trying to um, stay active, which means they'll probably produce a little bit more seeds. So you got to get this protection down. I keep telling y'all that pro down mean is the way to go to stop those weeds from next season. Still treating. You don't have any down here. 
the man finna start blowing. Okay, yard fanatics, I just showed you again. We're trying to get these weeds out your yard. Listen, I want you to have the best looking. You will be crushing your neighbors. Crushing means you have the best looking yard on the block. Got to get that pro diamine down. You have to get that protection down. Got to stop these weeds, y'all. It's easier to prevent than it is to get rid of. So make sure you subscribe, click notification, like the video, then share it. So just remember, you are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.